Hello everybody, Nick here with Scott and Nicky again for another one of our weekly tech videos. We really appreciate you stopping by and following our series here. Now, even though I got an LS engine next to me, I'm gonna go a little old school here. We're gonna talk about our Vortex cylinder heads. This was a big name for us for the longest time was the Vortex cylinder head. This is one of GM's highest flowing factory Gen 1 style small block cylinder heads. These things were great. They'd make 350 to 400 horse with just a good cam and good compression. And we were selling these like wildfire. Now, if you're wanting to know a little bit here, we would take the Vortex cylinder head, we would machine the valve guides down because that clearance between the retainer and the valve guide where the seat sits was a little too tight. So if you guys wanted more than 450, 460 or so lift, man, that retainer would start crashing in that seal, cause you all sorts of issues. So we were taking them, we were disassembling them, brand new from the factory, machining those guides all the way down, putting the seals back on, putting it back together with a good spring kit and sending it down the road with a cheap, high quality GM factory cylinder head that we modified so you could put it on your hot rod or maybe even your 96 to 98 Vortec powered truck. Man, we sold a lot of these and for good reason. It was just such a great deal. It was a high quality casting and they still are. They still are a very high quality casting. And in, in the case of an iron head small block, this is still kind of the top of the heap until you start getting into modified cylinder heads or of course aluminum cylinder heads. But if some of you might have found out in the past year, if you call up and you ask about these, we don't really have these ready and machined anymore. And there's a reason for that. One, the further these get away from production, meaning you have to think the last time this engine was used in a factory vehicle, I believe it wasn't the 98 C1500 Silverados. It actually, I think was around 02 or 03, you could get the Vortec 350 5.7 in a van, the, you know, the express van. But the further we got away from that date, the less common they made these cylinder heads. For a while there, it wasn't a problem. They were still making them, they were cheap, plentiful. Then it started getting more and more sparse. And now they only make them ever so often, and most of the time they're going on the Vortec crate engine. And of course the performance, Chevrolet performance crate engines, they get these too still. So we don't have them around as much anymore. And here's kind of the other thing. It's just kind of the way economics go sometimes. These cylinder heads are not as cheap as they used to be. It's a really a shame. A lot of y'all were loving these cylinder heads. You were putting them on a cheap hot rod and going down the road and making great power. But unfortunately, a set of modified Vortec heads these days from us runs about $13.99. And that's a big hit in the pocket for a lot of you guys, especially considering while this is a high quality factory casting, that's a big deal for a lot of people and I agree. There's a lot of overseas castings out there and you kind of see them and you go, I don't know if I trust that. I, man, I just, I just want to use GM stuff because it's GMs. I know they made tough stuff. So if y'all can do it and modify it, I like it. But man, when these things started to break, you know, $1,100, $1,200, now they're almost $1,400 for a set of modified cylinder heads. It breaks our heart too. These things aren't a viable option anymore. We get calls almost daily, people asking if we have any, and if we could make them a pair, how much they would be. And unfortunately, we hear it over the phone. We hear how brokenhearted you are when you hear about the price. So if you give us a call, we'll absolutely make you a set. We're out of stock at the moment, but if we have them in stock, we don't mind. We'll make you a set of, uh, set of modified Vortex cylinder heads, because we know some of you don't care about the price, you care about the quality. But here's another reason. At this price point, there's a lot of really high quality cylinder heads these days from companies like Edelbrock or Trickflow, Dart and Brodix. They make aluminum cylinder heads, both in the standard intake pattern and the Vortec intake pattern. Remember, the Vortec heads had that special vertical bolt, bolts, two on each corner, so it was eight total. Well, they make them in that and the standard pattern for you guys that just have a normal small block. They're high quality. They have the same lift that these things can handle. They flow really good. They're aluminums. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We walked this over to the table to make this video almost threw my back out. This thing weighs a ton. And they can be had sometimes for a thousand bucks, 1300 bucks or less. You know, that, that beat blows these out of the water. Now, if you still have a set of Vortec heads 
and you are still looking to do the same things that we did, we can absolutely still help you out. We can sell you this valve spring kit. We sell them on our website all the time to guys that are taking their stock heads themselves and taking them down to their local machine shop. We also have some guys that run the comp valve spring and uh, retainer combo. This is a pretty trick thing. You can run the LS6 valve spring or the comp 918s or pack 1218s with a comp 787-16, I believe is the part number. We'll double check that for you. But with that part number, it is a drop-in valve spring replacement that will do almost 500 lift, give or take. And keep in mind, the reason we word it like that is because production variants on machining on these was unfortunately a little loosey-goosey. Keep in mind, GM never thought we were gonna modify these things, so when they're putting the valve springs and the seats and the seals on this stuff, they just modify them enough for whatever a stock cam did. What was that, 420 lift, 430 lift? And going on down the road, we're trying to put 500 more in it and we're kind of messing up what GM thought we were gonna do with these things. But there's a lot of options out there for you guys that want to drop in a replacement or you guys that want to take yours off and send them off to be machined. So don't fret if you're coming into this video hoping to get some good news about these and you're a little heartbroken, it's all right. You can still modify these, but also call us and give us a, a little bit of specs on what you're working on. We might have some aluminum cylinder heads that would be a great option for you guys that are building a hot rod or a 96 to 98 truck that you're trying to hot rod as well. We appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. We do these every week and we hope that you like, subscribe and share so you can, you know, share this information to help out fellow hot rodders like you and me. And we will see you next week for another tech video. Thanks for stopping by.